What's up everyone, welcome to another Photoshop video. For this image we will restore those lovely pink dust colors, making the whole scene a lot more vibrant while also cleaning up the shot. So let's get into it. Of course we first need to do the basic raw adjustments before we can head into Photoshop. So here we are in the camera raw editor. First off let me change the profile to Adobe standard. This will lessen the contrast, which in turn means I do have more control over it myself. Next up I do want to adjust the white balance. You can probably see this was shot during sunset, but instead of those very warm color tones I do want to have a slightly colder looking image with more pink and magenta color tones in it. So I guess I first want to slightly increase the temperature but not make it too warm. This is looking pretty good, we still have some blue tones up there in the sky. Now let's also boost the tint to bring in some more magenta tones, just like that. I'm not going to overdo it because otherwise it would look pretty unnatural, pretty fast. Next up, the sky is a little too bright and we are losing too much detail in here. So let's fix that by bringing down the highlights. And by doing this you can see we will get some more visible clouds in here. Pretty good. Now the histogram looks pretty good, but I think I will need to boost the darker parts a little bit. So let's increase the shadows. Let's also increase the blacks. And we can make this image brighter by increasing the whites. We just need to be careful with the overexposure. So pay close attention to the histogram, just like that. Awesome. Now the image does look quite different, we do have quite a bit less contrast, but I think we can fix that later. For now let's also add a little bit of sharpness to this image. So let's increase the texture, the clarity just a bit. And we could even increase the dehaze, which will also give us some more contrast. Perfect. And while we're down here in the menu, let's also bring up the vibrance, since we want this image to be very well saturated. Perfect. Now I still think the sky could be a bit darker. For this reason I'm going to apply a local adjustment. This means I'm going to select the sky right here. You can see Lightroom is doing a decent job at selecting it, but I still want to subtract parts from the lower sky, so I'm going to say subtract, here I'm choosing a linear gradient and I'm just dragging it up like this. I want to keep the brightness in the lower part. Just the top part needs to be darker so this is looking pretty good. With this mask I can now simply drop the exposure just a little bit. Perfect. And that is already it for the local adjustments for this shot. Let's continue doing some color grading. And I'm starting in the color mixer with the saturation. For this image I think those green tones in the back on the right side are a little distracting so I'm going to drop them all the way. At the same time I do want to bring up the blue colors a bit. Perfect. And now let's head into the split toning. Here I do want to start with the highlights and I do want to apply a very warm, almost red color tone. Let's see, somewhere in this range looks pretty good, but the saturation might be a bit too much. So let's just bring it down a notch. Perfect. Now I'm doing the same thing for the midtones. Again I'm going with a very red color tone. This might be a bit too much, so let's adjust the hue. But that's looking good. Again, I'm bringing down the saturation. I just want to have a very subtle effect in here, so that's looking solid. All right, and that's it for the split toning. Finally, let's head into the calibration tab. Here I do want to bring down the blue primary hue, making those red tones a little richer. And besides dropping the hue, I can also boost the saturation in here. Now oh, that's quite a difference to before. Finally, let's sharpen this shot. And now we can finish the whole process in Photoshop. 
First off, of course, I want to clean up this image. So just in case I'm going to create a backup layer by hitting Ctrl J. And here, let's first get rid of those pillars. Therefore, I'm grabbing the lasso tool by pressing L. And I'm just making a rough selection here. Hit Shift F5 and with the content that we are selected, just hit OK. Let's do the same on the other side. Okay, here we might need to adjust this a little bit. Here I'm using the clone stem tool. Just filling this strange looking gap. Then there is this strange line in foreground. Let's try the spot healing brush for it. That didn't work. Let's try the content aware fill once more. That was a little better. Just need to use the clone stem tool once more to fix everything. Okay, that's good enough. Next up, I do want to clean the back of the image. There's another little pole coming out of the water right there. And then I want to get rid of some of those things right here. Okay, I think that's good enough. I'm quite happy with this. So let's merge those two layers to clean up this file. Now let's do add a little more contrast. Therefore I'm going to apply a levels adjustment layer. And first of all, I do want to make the highlights a little brighter. So I'm going to pick the points for the lights on the right side and just slightly drag it to the left. Also, we can make the blacks a little darker by picking the black point and drag it to the right. Just a little bit. And here we have some nice contrast going on. All right, then let's merge those layers again. And I want to continue by checking the Nick Collection plugin. Here, I do think the polarization effect will look pretty good since it will make the colors a little stronger. So let's see. I don't want to overdo it. I still want to keep it natural here, but I think that's a pretty good spot. Let's apply it like this. And at this point, I do want to add a little bit of glow on the right side. So let's create a new layer, switch the blending mode to soft light, pick up the brush tool, and also pick up a color from the bright area right here. So I'm holding down the Alt key and click in there. Now let's adjust this color a little bit, making it slightly warmer and slightly brighter. All right. And now let's paint in a little glow just right there. Perfect. That's already enough. At this, at this point, I do think the sky could be a little darker especially the blue part of the sky. So let's create another new layer, switch the blending mode to overlay. Now I'm using the TK panel plugin, which just easily allows me to select this blue color up there. So I'm activating the layer mask mode and go to color. Here I'm selecting blue. Now we have this blue layer mask on our overlay layer. And with a black brush, I am going to make the top part of the sky a little darker. Just carefully painting in here. All right, perfect. Now while we're at it, let's create another new layer and again use overlay blending mode. And with the TK panel plugin, I do want to change the midtones a little bit. Actually, let's go with the lights one mask right here. And now I'm using white to make the foreground just a little brighter. Okay, perfect. Then at this point, I think we're done with the editing. So I hope this video was helpful and interesting. If you have any questions left, feel free to ask in the comments and thank you very much for watching this video.